Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're taking a look at the version 3 hit bottle. Alright guys, so in the past I took a look at the original hit bottles and while I liked them, I thought they were cool, I thought they were great looking, the lid construction kept them from being a staple in my gym bag, mainly because they did leak and they didn't do the greatest job insulating whatever was in your bottle. Now, this is the version 3 hit ball, and while it looks a lot like the original ones did, it is a vast improvement over them. Now, the body of the hit bottle is a brand new stainless steel that is a lot more sturdy feeling. It's pretty evident when you pick this bottle up and you hold the original ones in your other hand, you'll notice there is a pretty solid structural difference between the new one and the previous ones. I can't confirm this for sure, but they say that the steel that they're using for the hit bottle is better than that of the Hydro Flask. If you just hold it, it feels much, much nicer and really, really premium. Now, the powder coating that they're also using is a lot better than the kind of softer powder coat that they used on the original ones as well. And it has a nice feeling texture to it. It also looks really, really good. Now, the hip bottle comes in a few different colorways. This is the chrome one. And if you don't like water spots or fingerprints, stay away from this one. But otherwise, I think this is probably the coolest looking of the bunch. It also comes in a army green. Who doesn't love army green? Then you also have the white bottle. And then you have a classic black. You can't go wrong with black. I think there's also a gold one, but I do not have that one. Now, the biggest change to the hit bottle is the lid. And while it looks pretty similar, if I were to just do this, it looks very similar to the original ones, there are a lot of huge upgrades here. The construction of the lid is a lot more sturdy. It still has that locking net mechanism in the back, which clicks a lot better than the original one does. It does a better job telling you that it's locked into place versus the kind of squishy feeling out of the previous model. Now, another huge upgrade is that you also have a carrying cord. Now, this is just like a standard paracord bracelet that is also removable if you wanted to take it off for washing the lid. Probably the biggest improvement of the new lid is the way that it attaches into the hip bottle. It's got a much more pronounced screw Plus, it's got a huge rubber grommet that does a much, much better job in leak protection and insulation of your bottle. Now, the next biggest change of the lid is the brand new shaker module. It's not a ball anymore. It's actually just attached. And you can just unscrew it. And it is also modular. So if you wanted to change it out for their tea infuser, you could go ahead and do that. Pop that in, screws right in easy as that. Now if you really wanted to get in there and clean the little shaker part, you can just pop out the inside and it's ready to go for cleaning purposes. Same goes with the tea infuser. All you have to do to put some stuff in there is pop off the little inner part, put whatever you want in here, fruit, tea, whatever it may be, it all goes in there. Now that is one of the cooler features of the hip bottle. And I think the modular cap design is really, really innovative. But with the new hit bottle, you can also get different lids. The one that comes standard with the hit bottle is going to be just the standard cap with the shaker module. But you can also get a little sippy cup if you wanted to use your hit bottle, kind of like a tumbler. And this is better for if you're on the go, you want to drink coffee on the go. I actually prefer this one over the standard lid just because I'm a little bit lazy. Obviously, this one doesn't do as good a job insulating as the normal one does, but whatever, it's more convenient. You can also get a nice little stainless steel reusable straw to drop right in there. You can use this with a normal lid as well, and it just makes drinking out of the hip bottle a little bit more convenient. Now, the one flaw that I have found with the hip bottle, and they are working on this, is that there are no measurements in the inside of the bottle. So you're kind of just guesstimating uh, with how much you're putting inside of the bottle. The total volume that this holds is 24 ounces. Now the Hip Bottle version 3 retails for $30 and that comes with the standard cap 
and the standard shaker module but you can also opt for the lifestyle package and that comes with all of the lids all of the attachments the straw and that's only forty dollars so ten dollars you get the sippy cup lid the straw the tea infuser not that huge of a price increase for all the added fixings I really like what they've done with the version 3 hip bottle. It's really, really versatile and it looks great. I highly recommend you check this bottle out. If you guys have any questions about the hip bottle, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always, guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.